All right, welcome back to Southern Cross Station, episode number 73. So, um, we planned on getting this field, uh, right today, or wind road, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I want to get this done. I did start the, um, the combine out on the field again, so it is running. It's... I've been having problems with getting the combine to go right away. I think I figured out what my problem is. I think if you try to start a job fresh, you know, without already have been working on the job, uh, as far as this session, I think you have to make sure that the combine is empty. So I emptied out the combine into the truck and it seems to be working. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to worry about this little bit that we're missing around the outside. I mean, we are getting so much. Uh, we are going to have to buy a semi. We have one, but we're using it. So uh, I want to get I want to get a second semi just for hay. Uh, yeah, I just I got way too close when I mowed. I think we're just going to have to do this differently. I'm. I think when we get the new mower. We're not going to have to deal with this problem because it's going to put nice, neat lines down the field. I think I can set this mower to do that so it kicks it out the middle, but, uh, yeah. But, um, let's go ahead and let's jump into the time lapse. So we're just about done here. I'm just going to kind of uh, see what I can do about that one. It's probably going to mess things up a little bit, but uh, just see if we can get this kind of straightened out a little bit. Probably not, but uh, whatever. Um, okay, so we'll get these all put away. It's going to be a little weird doing the... Um, you know, the bailing, but whatever, you know, it's no big deal, I guess. So, we don't need this tractor at the moment, so I'm just going to leave it hooked to this. Um, why are you way out there in the field now? Okay. Oh, crap. How do we get 100%? Uh, okay. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run this over, and I'm going to get it emptied. And then I'll come back and we'll get loaded. I don't remember it being at 100%. Maybe it pulled over and got uh, and emptied out. Oh, we got it set for that so it'll keep going. But uh, because there's no truck down here at this end of the field, it didn't know what to do. Okay, that's what it is. I get it now. I mean, I don't expect this all to work perfectly because of the way... Things have kind of gone here, um, but uh, yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have to move out of the way once uh, once he's ready to go. I think he'll back up and, uh, or maybe not. He might not. I'm not sure. You know, if there's too much. Uh, extra out on the field we'll have to do it manually at the end of the video or you know when we're done with the field but if it's just little patches here and there i mean this little patch really ain't that big of a deal i mean it is but it isn't all 
Wow, that's a lot. This thing really does hold a lot. So I'm going to get this out of the way because, uh, I mean, 16K doesn't sound like a lot, but it really is when you think about it. So like I said, that's fine for that right now. I'm not going to worry about it. It just, it missed that part because of uh, restarting or whatever I did that I messed up. But I think we're going to have to go back and grab that at the end. But let's go ahead and start with this. You know, like I said, this is going to be a little bit kind of a weird situation here, but whatever, you know. I'm not real worried about how the... Am I down? Yeah, okay. I couldn't tell if my pickup was down or not, but we'll go until we get the first uh, the first bail out, and then uh, I'm just going to uh, go from there. Man, it's kind of this thing's hard to stay on because this because you got a curve all over this field. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna start the time lapse, and I will uh, see you when the time lapse is done. <laughs> We got quite a mess out here on the field so but I was kind of expecting that um, because of the fact that uh, we have a lot of this let's see how do I do this shut this off you know because we didn't uh, mow it last time or we mowed it last time but never finished anything that's why we have all this mess out here but I'm gonna take this and move it over to the other feet over to the edge of the other field anyway. I don't think we're anywhere near ready another uh, another unload over here yet, but uh, yeah, maybe we're getting close. I don't know what's it doing. Is it just me or is it just sitting there? Oh, okay, it's turning around. Out. Oh, it just emptied. That's what it did. Okay. Gotcha. Excellent. Okay, so while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and let's purchase a new semi. Uh, let me see. What do we got right now? Uh, I want to make sure we don't buy it. Okay, we got a Mac. We got a Mac uh, Anthem MP8. So let's not go with a Mack truck if we can have. We can probably get a Voho, or we can get one of the Lizards. Um, God, I like the Superliner, but we already got a Mack. Um, I'm not a big fan of cab overs, so you know I'm not trying to avoid buying a cab over. I'm just we're gonna either go with like the Road Warrior here, or we can go with the. We can't get the Voho because we don't have enough money. Let's go with the uh, with this. This is fine. Um, since we are uh, a John Deere farm, let's go with John Deere color. Um, so we'll go with the eighteen gear. That's going to give us, you know, it's going to accelerate differently. I guess because uh, you know, a person would have to go through eighteen gears to get up to the top gear, but it's not. It's going to have the pulling power that we need. So. Let's just jump over to the store. <laughs>
right, so I think that's all of them. I'm gonna leave it over here just in case for now. Um, so yeah, we're getting down here on the last couple things. I wanna just check the job, see if it says that it's near done. Um, let's see, where is that? Uh, right there. It looks like we're at 74%, but you know, we also have to, uh, haul a whole lot of this stuff over to uh, over to the sell point, which we're going to do next time. I'm thinking he's probably going to come empty here in just a minute or two. Uh, sorry about that. I, it's uh, I'm, I'm up here in northwestern Wisconsin, and if you live north of here in Canada, or you live... Uh, you know, somewhere in the north, you probably know that there's forest fires going on up in Canada. And uh, it's been really, uh, like, I guess you'd call it smoky around here because, uh, well, it's hazy anyway, because of the forest fires up there. That We had the same problem last year, and uh, I I'm hoping it resolves itself fairly quickly because, uh, yeah, it's definitely... Uh, it's not fun, you know, sitting and trying to talk and all you do is taste smoke, you know. And it's not, you know, smoke like a cigarette, you know, it's fire smoke that you that you taste. But I think uh, next time, uh, where I'm going to get all this done first, we're not, like I said, we're going to go, excuse me, we're going to sell everything so that we can finish up this job, but we're not actually going to finish the job. And then we're going to get all, we're going to get all the bales off this field yet. And uh, once the bales are off it, then we're going to sell, sell them as we go, I believe. You're going to hit me. Yeah. Ah! Oh, no, let me back up. I guess he doesn't know his own uh, distances there or something. He just kind of nipped me right on the note on the back of the trailer, or the nose of the trailer. But I think he should have enough uh, space to empty out. We may have to come and empty him back out. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's funny, that thing trying to take off. It's really being weird. Dude, I'm full. I can't take any more. Now it is going to go try if it's got enough to actually finish the job, have enough room. It's going to try and go out. Uh, it's going to come back and follow this path up type of thing, kind of. But it will continue going because uh, we did these, I think, with the other machine. I could be wrong. So let's get this over. We'll dump this. And then we'll come back, get whatever he's got left for us. Now, um, even though this is costing us uh, 37000 a day, I think is what the, the price was last time I seen it. I think we're going to try and buy it at some point. But I'm, it's not going to be immediately. It's going to be when all of our other grain from there, here and over here. Now, we could actually sell the... The soybeans, but there's just like 60,000, so that means like one, maybe two trips over there. Um, I need to make sure I'm going to the cor well, you know what? We'll do that we'll, when we sell to tomorrow or next time. I'll worry about it. I, was, I was thinking I had to go sell this time, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> sorry. So, I mean, as you can see, we've already gotten three truckloads off that field. There was one in the silo, and this is. Number three dumped into the silo. That's 150,000 liters right there at, when this thing is drained. And then we're still going to have, I think we still probably had eight to ten in the thing. Plus, you know, it'll be a full 16 anyway. I think it's going to probably need to empty one more time and then come back and uh, go from there. I'm not sure yet. But. It'll be nice to have it done, and that's the reason I started the job, you know, before we started the video, because, well, number one, I've been having problems. I'm still trying to remember everything that I have to do in course play. 
you know, and since we're doing a job for someone else, it's not really going to overkill us, you know, as far as uh, not getting stuff done properly. Um, yeah. So I'm going to, off camera, I'm going to get the rest of this stuff done. I think we'll let him get full one more time, and then he'll come over to us and empty out. But I want to be on field if I can. Yeah, he's almost full already. Yeah, with with these big fields, we can, you know, we pretty much have to do, uh, use this program, you know, use the, pro um, to use course play because these fields are just so monstrous. But I think we're going to get our money back for this machine. I don't think we're going to be you know, even with all the actual rentals and stuff of it, I don't think it's going to be a big hassle. You know, it, the hourly part might kill us, but uh, when we do the smaller fields for right now, I'm going to use the smaller machine. But field number one, we'll use this machine. Um, the one, the tw what is it, 20 whatever that's across the street from here, we'll use the small machine. The one in the back will we might use a small machine. I haven't decided yet. But I'd rather, you know, just kind of, you know, use it for what we need to so we don't have to rent it again, you know. And at the same time, all this extra money other than the hour money is going to, uh, is going towards our uh, rent to buy or rent to own, whatever you wish to call it. So, yeah, he'll have one more here to go um, like I said I'm gonna do that strip over there off camera because it just be easier in fact I'm just gonna let him finish here and then uh, we'll just kind of end here and I will see you guys next time remember like share follow or subscribe whatever you want to call it uh, ring the bell, notification bell so you get notifications of new videos if you guys want to see more videos i know it's summertime and i kind of cut back but i'm willing to add videos but i don't want to just you know overwhelm myself so um if you want to say tell your friends to come check this out and help me out if we get past 100 and somebody says you know hey we'd like to see some more videos i'll uh I'll do videos then. Um, if I don't get anybody that says anything, they want more videos when we get past 100, then that's just going to be what it is, just getting past 100. But I want to thank everybody for coming, and I will see you guys next time.